Hello folks, welcome to the beautiful Cow Gap Farm Fishery, not too far from Dunworth near Sheffield. We're having a little bit of a Christmas bash today. We weren't going to come out, it's minus four. It's frankly a little bit ridiculous, but I managed to talk a very reluctant Jordan Holloway into joining me for the Catch More Media, we're going to call it the Catch More, Catch More Media Christmas Bash. And where better to come for a Christmas bash than a Christmas tree farm? And this is the Sheffield Christmas Tree Company, as well as a great fishery. As you can see, we've broke the ice. And uh, although it's something of a angling nightmare, everything's freezing up, the net's freezing up, the pole's freezing up, the elastic's freezing up, we're actually having a lovely, lovely day's sport. We've got one set of gear with us, a bit of a hybrid of my tackle and Jordan's tackle, which explains why we're sat on a Preston box using a Daiwa pole with a bit of everything. But you know what? This time of year, it really doesn't matter. You can see how solid this place is. It's phenomenal fishing. So what I thought we'd do, I thought we would have a little five minute challenge to uh, see who is the best angler of 2022, me v Jordan. Uh, and then I've asked Jordan to uh, bring you a few silverfish fishing tips because to be fair to him, he's had an unbelievable year. The things he's won this year are quite ridiculous. So I've asked him to bring a few tips about tackling a frozen lake like this. So I think we'll uh, let him hop on the box have a little fish and then the challenge can begin but first I'm going to catch another roach because I can't not it's just great in it I mean look at the place frozen solid but we're dropping our rig in feeding some maggots and catching a roach every single drop it is ridiculous look at that unbelievable and the thing with these fish they're not small either. We've had some cracking stamp fishing with them. I mean, this isn't a bad one. Try to do me under the ice. Oh, so yeah, Cow Gap Fishery near Dunworth. Make sure you get down here, folks. It's uh, it's fair to say it's a little bit special. I don't know what this is. I'm hoping it's another dog roach. Come out, come out, come out. There are some, some chub and some carp and all sorts in here, but... Oh no, it's just a great, great big roach, that is. Wow. Look at that. A bit of ice in there with it, but that roach, folks, is... Got to be close to a pound, that has. Look. Look at that. It's even got the trademark red fins. So we'll let Jordan have a little fish, and then it's time for the Christmas challenge. Right then everyone. Tom's brought me to this little lake today. It's absolutely freezing. Had to make a little hole in the ice. Well, Tom had to make a little hole in the ice because there was no chance I was coming fishing and breaking the hole myself. And as you can see, we are catching some roach. Oh, there we go. Lovely three ounce roach in. But we're having a bit of a mini nightmare. For one, it's absolutely freezing. Didn't want to come. Should still be at home now. Should not be coming out in the cold. Disgorger little gap is actually frozen. Which isn't ideal. So yeah, it's absolutely freezing. And I'm not kidding you. The net is absolutely frozen solid with ice in it. See? See that? Frozen solid. The elastic... Absolutely frozen, top gets frozen solid. So the elastic dangles out like this. It's not ideal. The pole's frozen together. And to be honest, it's absolutely crazy coming fishing, but Tom's brought me here 
to do a little bit of a challenge so can't turn down on for a challenge because I'll definitely win so yeah let's see what we both catch right so I really wanted Jordan to go first on this but he's made me go first don't know why that is not very fair but are you ready Jordan can I start my time now can I start my challenge go for it. yeah right so my time tell me when I start I'm starting now. now, right, he's in trouble. Five minutes. My target, I reckon I can catch in five minutes. I reckon I can catch six fish. That, that's my target. Let's just see. Just trying to feed short on my float. That's my mission. One on there. That's number one. You're in trouble here, pal. You can see it's quite a strange knot holding the, the elastic on. We have had, we have had an incident, folks. We have had a frozen elastic rig tangle incident while I was having a little practice, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm sure Jordan will tell you all about that. But I'm not one to dwell on that sort of thing, folks. Right, here we go. Red maggot on the up. That's one. I think I'm on for my target. I think that must be inside a minute. Surely. Coming back in. Playing the rigging. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Right. Little bit, a few maggots. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. I know he won't take any prisoners, Job, when it's his turn. He's horrible like that. I'll tell you what, because the joints are all froze on the pole, it's mecking some disgusting noises when you strike. It creaks and all sorts. What's going on now? Oh, he's one on. There's one on and the float's wrapped over, and it's a skimmer. Surely I should get bonus points for a skimmer. What sort of fishery is this? It's absolutely ridiculous. Freezing cold. Floats tangled. Oh, it's not a skimmer, it's a dog roach, that. Fish number two. Look at him. You hear it jingle jangling. It sounds almost festive in the frozen net. Cracking roach, fish number two. See what's gone on with that float. This is eating into my time. How long have I got left, George? Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, we're on target. That's one a minute then, folks. We, we, we can't knock that. Right. He's not going to catch a fish a minute. I've seen him. He's not, he's not fast enough. Nice maggot. Hands are a bit cold. Some people would probably say we're a bit mad doing this, but you know what? hate, hate, hate sitting in the house. So if this inspires you to get out, if you're in South Yorkshire or Sheffield or anywhere near, come and give this place a go. They're not open at weekends at the minute. That's the only thing with this place. But if you want to come Monday to Friday, the lake's open. And I think that you can see how good it is. It's just crazy fishing, really. A bit, bit over-eager then with the catapulting. Not that it matters. This number three is on. I'm from number three, yeah, three. What's this? Feels a bit different. Oh, it's not different. It's another dog roach. Come here. Come here. Yes. Come on. We've got to still be on for a fish a minute. You've got to be. Right. Oh, I know what. I've got a problem here. I've dropped my disgorger. I've got a roach on. I forgot, to drop. I forgot about that. I have to get my disgorger. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Got this disgorger. Right, forgot I'd drop that in, in the excitement. Come out. Tell you what, they must be really feeling confident that that roach really, really wanted that. Come out. There we are. Right. That might slow me down a bit, folks. I would say I don't think Jordan would make a mistake like that, but I've seen him make plenty of mistakes like that. Still going to do him. A minute to catch. What am I on? Three or four? Three. Right, it's two in, two in the last minute then because of that blunder. I can do it. I'm not I'm not sat here thinking I can't do it. I'm sitting here thinking I can do it. I want to get a shift on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? The problem is I'm catching these great big dog roach and there's no, no extra prizes for them, is there? 
And the lassoed one, I can see the maggot in its mouth, it's not far up. Must have gone round it or something. 15, so that's it, but then it's four. Four's the score on the door. You won't catch four. Oh yeah. Right, so now it's my five minute challenge. Tell me when I'm ready, Tom. You're ready, George. Right, I'm gonna go in. Tom obviously caught a pathetic, what was it, three? No. Might be far, four. Four. So I'm gonna beat that easy, everyone. 20 seconds, I reckon, that's what... Right, loose feet of maggots. Loads of maggots, get loads in. It's not gone under, Tom. Yep, yeah, there's one. It won't take me long to beat him, folks. Folks, I'm even talking like him now. There we are, one. Right, I'm gonna go back out, even though the last it's frozen. Still got a bag it on. Don't like his pole, it keeps making loads of cracking noises with the, the frozen sections. Frozen elastic. There's two. Oh, I might have to net this one, elastic's tangling the way, come here. Or oh, did you hear the jangling? Ice in the landing net. It's not what you want. So there's two, flipping back out, <laughs> there's about four foot elastic frozen out now. This could be interesting, the next one. So that's two, how long have I been going? One minute, 16 seconds. Hey. Oh, missed one then. Unbelievable how many fish are in this lake really, it is the coldest day I think I've ever gone fishing on. Oh, no! Don't ruin me now. Come on, go under. You know you want to. It went under again, it didn't connect. Ruining my time here. Oh, no! No, 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 nobody likes to see that. Two minutes, and I got two. Oh, I might have, I might have ruined it by not changing the maggot. Oh no, let's come and change it. Just in case. Not ideal everyone. Might be pushing it now to beat him. But I am faster than Tom. Tom is very slow. Right. Come on now. Yes. Good fish. Good fish. No, 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 nobody likes to see that. <laughs> How long have I got, Tom? No. Well, it was obviously hard, didn't it? Look, this challenge then, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know you want to eat it. you come off now, I will not be impressed, little fish. Ooh. Oh, come here then. Mag can't even go back in, the maggot's not acceptable. He's beat me, hasn't he? I reckon he's beat me. Oh, I've got a minute 10. Maybe then, I better get a move on. Elastic now is just tangled or stuck or frozen to end the pole. Right, come on now, go under. Yep, good fish. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh yes, there we go. So I'm level with him, how long have I got? Oh, 
Right, come on now. One more for the win. One more for the win. One more. Oh! I should get bonus time anyway. I reckon you started before I went in. There we go anyway. It's in, it's in. It's in the hand, it's in the net. Is that it? Is that it? Have I won? Thanks for coming, Tom. Thanks for coming. The loser was going to jump in, we said. <laughs> so obviously, as the champion of the challenge, Tom wants me to give ev Tom wants me to tell everybody a few tips about this kind of fishing. So obviously, we're on a frozen lake today. We've had to break the ice. So tip number one is to bring along a mate to break the ice for you because nobody wants to be breaking it themselves. I actually let Tom break the ice for me today. It's obviously fantastic of him to do because I don't want to break the ice. None of you lot want to break the ice. So obviously tip number one is to bring a mate along to break the ice for you. Unbelievably, I've lassoed a roach here. I haven't even hooked it in the mouth. Unbelievable fishing. So tip number two is to bring baits that you're going to catch fish on. So maggots, pinkies, casters. Don't go too selective trying to fish corn or pellets. Bring some maggots. And basically, loose feed a few sparingly to start. And if there's lots of fish, up the feed. If not, carry on the same. Like I started today feeding between three and five maggots. And now I've upped it and I'm feeding 10, 20 maggots every chuck. So that's tip number two. Don't be too selective on the baits and loose feed them sparingly and up them as the day goes on. Tip number three is actually my rig choice. Now, I'm actually fishing through the water today. I think it's really important as it's frozen and as it's really cold, the fish watch the bait a lot more. So obviously a strung out rig Let's the bait fall a little bit slower. That was actually having my maggot. Yeah, strung out rig lets the bait fall a little bit slower. Let's the fish watch the bait a bit more and you'll definitely catch more with that. The float itself, really light. I've got a four by 10 Chianti on. It's a lovely float for this. It's got a nice bristle, ever you can see, and it's got a carbon stem, so it follows the shot through the water. Lovely for this kind of fishing. And tip number four, finally, to keep warm so obviously make sure you wear lots of layers heated clothing is really really good and bring a nice flask of tea or coffee or something to keep you warm it's actually the first eyed of the day that a little eyed look at that so yeah tip number four keep warm loads of layers of clothes tea or coffee and yeah those are my tips for catching a few fish when it's cold. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.